Well, welcome to Bethany. We're glad you've chosen to be with us on this lovely September morning. Glad that you've joined us. Uh, I have a couple of thank you notes that have come to the church that they've been here, and I have each week forgotten to uh, let you know, but we have thanks from Ron and Bethany McClo, uh thanking you for being so prayerful, loving, and supporting during what has been a difficult period, and they're just very thankful, and they just would like the church to be blessed for all of their, their good that they've done. And then we have one from the Steric family. May God return to you the kindness you've shown to me. Thank you in the, the loss of family. So uh, I just wanted to share that they're, they're very thankful for that. Uh, there's a lot going on this week, and we just want to hit a few of the highlights uh, tomorrow evening. We'll be having the NFL, which is a new for life. It's a Monday night football group. It's a men's fellowship. We had a dozen guys last week, and uh, we had a, a really lot of fun. Probably none of them could have told you the score afterward because we were just <laughs> having so much fun at, at the event. And uh, so, but we want to invite everyone. It's at my home again. Uh, that's tomorrow night. It's at 8:15. The time has changed uh, because the first week was a double header. And they started one game early, so tomorrow evening, 8.15, uh, is when we'll all gather together for that. Tuesday and Wednesday, there are Bethmore Bible studies, and uh, the one tomorrow is going to be a little earlier because there's also a council meeting. Uh, I mean, on Tuesday, uh, it's going to be a little earlier because of the council meeting. And uh, so, ladies, you need to have a heads up on that. Tuesday is church council. Wednesday, we are going to be kicking off our More to Life. And uh, we're going to do a study called Starting Points. And uh, in that study, it's, uh, you don't have to, there's no homework. You, uh, you do have a, a, a guide, a study guide that goes with it. And it's kind of a fill in the blank. And uh, we're trying to encourage everyone. This is uh, in place of like an adult Sunday school or small group. We're having a four week concentrated study. And we'll be covering a chapter of Genesis every half hour. And uh, so we're going to kind of make our way through a, a good portion of Genesis. want to encourage everyone to be here. That's Wednesday night, 7 to 8.30. Yep, okay. And then Thursday, we're going to launch the youth group. So I want to encourage everybody to invite all the youth to come for youth group. And that's listed also in the bulletin. And uh, those are the things that are coming up. Now, next Sunday, we are having a reception for Mary. M M Mary, who's been playing for years, for 18 years. We're having a reception. And she has submitted her resignation. She wants to be able to uh, help her sister up north who's not well. And uh, like many others, wants to get to Florida in the wintertime a little bit. Can you blame her for that? 18 years being restricted, you can't go. Yeah, so now uh, she's going to have a little more freedom. Uh, we love Mary, and we're, we're thankful for her many years of service. Next Sunday, we'll be having a reception in her honor. And uh, so, uh, we need you to uh, sign up in the Narthex. Uh, there should be a sign-up sheet out there for salads and cookies. Uh, I think you'll find that sign-up sheet, and you'll, you'll see what you can sign up for. We have one important announcement today uh, that Vonda, well, actually, she has two. She's going to come and make. Morning, everyone. Um, if you haven't seen the sign out there, it's pasty time. And today, everyone received order forms in your bulletin. And real quickly, I just kind of want to walk you through on how to fill these out and go over the cost and everything. Um, first of all, you have your choice between turkey and beef. And um, if you order up to five, they're $7. However, we all like to dis get a discount. So you want to order five or more. I mean, yeah, five or more, and they're only $6. Um, we need to have your orders back in the next two weeks. October the 2nd is the last Sunday that you can place your order. We need, they need to be prepaid, so you need to pay when you place your order. Um, then down here, you want to pick what Sunday you wanna pick your pasties up. So be sure to pick a date that you wanna pick them up. Also, um, last year we sold over 800 pasties, and we do that because we have you ask your friends and family to place orders also. So when you look at the order form, you're kind of wondering why you have to put the member's name down here. A lot of times we sell to customers outside of our church. So that's why that's the way it is. 
So I wanted to let everybody know to take your order forms, fill them out, ask your friends and family to place orders, and be sure to bring them back. Um, Nona Boss will be taking the orders, or you can put the orders with your payment in the office, and I will get them. Um, that's the first announcement. The second announcement, I wanted to let everybody know that we're going to be having a Norwax cleaning show demonstration on Sunday, October the 2nd at 2 p.m. And if you're not familiar with this cleaning company, it's basically, how would you like to be able to clean your entire house with just one cleaning cloth and water? No chemicals. So I want you to be sure to attend the demonstration to see how this is possible. And both men and women are invited because I know a lot of you guys help your wives out with the cleaning. So be sure to attend. Thank you. Here's our prayer. I need thee. We need you, Lord. We need you in our lives every day. Lord, especially as we face temptation, difficulties, trials, problems, struggles within, we need you. We come here today as a needy people and we ask, O oh Lord, that you would visit us, that you would come and be in our midst, that you would strengthen us in the inner person, that we would be strong for the name of Jesus and all that we have to face every day in our battles to live a holy life. We're thankful, Lord, for the amazing grace of our God, that our chains are gone. You have released us. We don't have to be enslaved to old habits, patterns of life, that if we put our trust in the Lord daily, as we did for our initial salvation, you will free us and our chains will be gone. We will be free. Lord, I don't know what difficulty, trial, problem, struggle within that each person here has uh, come this morning and saying, Lord, please help. But you know their heart and their need. Today, Lord, we pray as we look into your word, it would speak to our hearts that when we leave, we'll be able to say, indeed, my chains are gone. I've been set free. And Lord, that we wouldn't ne neglect the fact that we need you every hour, but then we would have a closer walk with you. And so we pray, Lord, that you'll visit us in such a way that is life-transforming today. We pray, Lord, that you'll bless our offering, our singing, the message, the scriptures. We dedicate this whole service to you and we worship you, Lord. Accept our worship as an expression of our love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I need thee every hour. <laughs> to me 
uh, for us to share with the congregation. Pray for Sarah and her two children as they tried to figure out a place to stay. Uh, they were encountered while on, on walking in the rain with all their clothes, sleeping bags, and pillows. Uh, and somebody in our community that's in need of shelter, so we need to pray for Sarah. Uh, for uh, Phil Nickerson, a friend of Donna Stadler, uh, he, he will be having surgery uh, on his colon cancer on September 21st. Request is to pray for, for Phil. Uh, guidance for Gary and employment. And uh, so we'll pray for Gary. And then for uh, John and his brother, uh, brother-in-law, Steve's salvation. We want to lift these up to the Lord in prayer right now. Let's do that. Father in heaven, you know the hearts of each person that was bold enough to share these to, to pray in public. They have a concern, Lord, uh, for an individual Here's one without Christ, actually two. A husband and a brother, we pray, Father, that you would work in their hearts, open their eyes to the gospel, that they might see the glorious truth of salvation in Jesus Christ, and then be saved. Father, we pray for Sarah and her two children who are without shelter. We pray, Father, for that need that you would provide for them in a way that would be so astounding they would say God is doing something in my life we pray for Phil we ask O oh Lord that you would superintend the doctors as they do their surgery uh, that they would be able to not only do the surgery but do it well and we pray father that you would uh, be the great physician Jehovah Rapha the Lord God the healer and bring healing in his body. And Father, we pray for guidance for Gary and his employment. Lord, these have been raised up to us, and to them we, we lift them up to you. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you would hear our cry, you would hear our prayer, and that you would answer. In Jesus' name, amen.